All right. Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kodash. Second, double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone that teach and rule well today and which are the true leaders of Israel today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry, pushing the word of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and all truth and sincerity, day in and day out. Shalom. I'm the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, South Carolina Midlands Camp, coming at you with another quick lesson. And as always, this message goes out to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible and also to the Israelite foreigners that are scattered amongst the other nations and it may look like your typical or average heathen of another nation but if your bloodline goes back to Negro, Latino or Native American descent by the seed of your father you're considered an Israelite, an Israelite according to the bloodline and of the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai so shalom to you brothers and sisters that scatter worldwide and that's in the faith and exalt the, the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom. So basically, I'm just going to get into a lesson, uh, you know, going through the spirit and, you know, the topic or the main subject I'm going to be focusing on, you know, it's the time of, of trouble that is at hand, which is biblical prophecy. OK, and those that's in the know that's following us. Okay, a, a great millstone, or uh, you know, Israelite camps in general, but mainly great millstone, because we're the main camp that's going into prophecy in the times that we're approaching, man. Okay, which the times that we're approaching is Jacob's trouble, which another way of saying Jacob is for the Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. As you can see, okay, that we're on the verge of America, Babylon the Great falling. Okay, which is being ruled by the biblical Edomites, the so-called white race, starting with their elites on down. That's ready to push forth their new world order, their agenda. And you're seeing that now with the uh, up and coming mandates, uh, 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 backing up this Vanessa Williams. Okay, and then, you know, people that's in the loop, you know, we what we're going into, what we got to talk codified. Okay, here on our lessons due to the Agron the Agron Rigum of Esau Edom YouTube, okay? But brothers, you know, have the understanding and those that's newcomers, okay, continue on listening to the apostles, the elders, and the brothers on down, and you, you, you'll get the, you know, the feeling on what we're going into, man. All of this through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. But we're approaching these times where they pushing, you know, the, the um, Vanessa, they pushing the MOTB, Okay, the RFID, which is written in Revelation chapter 16, I mean 13, verse 16. We're coming to the point of the collapse of this place. All hell is about to break loose. The time of martial law. Okay, famine, pestilence, uproars and uprising of the people, civil unrest. And these are the times that we're in, man. And as a job of a prophet, a man of the Lord, we're supposed to be out there giving warning to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to tell them that they're the Israelites, but to repent, to repent and come back and serve your power, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world calls God, his name is Yahweh, and his son, who the world calls Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai, both names in the Paleo Hebrew, which is our ancient tongue, okay, Hebrew. And they're only coming back to deliver the elect, the 144,000 and the one third. And so that's what, who we out there for. But to give warning to the nation of Israel as a whole, because it's not going to be any excuse for you Israelites out there that you're not, that you didn't hear the words of Yahweh Bashem was shot. And when the judgment come, you won't have no excuse, man. Okay. That, that you didn't see the men on the highways and byways. That's teaching. Or you didn't see the men when it comes to uploading videos telling you that you're Israelites and prepare for the, the wrath of the Lord, the great judgment day that's about to appear, or that's about to come. Okay? 
So I'm going to go ahead and get into the scriptures. And the first scripture I'm going to start off with is basically, you know, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. And it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the times, the time of Jacob's trouble. So that's what we're approaching, man. The times that we're coming into is not going to be like any other times that us, the Israelites, went through through past history or historical events such as uh, slavery. OK, when we first came over here, the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, the so-called blacks or Negroes. OK, when we came over here doing the Atlantic slave trade. And we you know uh, um, how we was enslaved. OK, the hard slavery. Even to the, the northern kingdom, which considered the Latinos, Hispanics, and the Native American tribes, okay? How they was damn near genocide by our enemy, Esau Edom, okay? And they got this land, the Americans being uh, taken from them, and Esau conquering it from them through bloodshed, okay? And past times during the 70, 70 AD, when we got exited out of the land, doing Roman prosecution. Okay, the Syrian captivity, the Babylonian, the, the Greeks, the Romans, all these ancient historical events that dealt with the Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, okay, the Israelites, okay, dealt with our enslavement and our downfall. Okay, those were some um catastrophic times, man. Okay. Some some perilous times. Okay. And we're still here, here in captivity to this day. But the times that we're coming into, that we're approaching, as we get closer to the downfall of Esau, Edom, and the Lord allowed him to show his horns, okay, that he's about to come with that wrath, as is written in Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, it's not going to be compared to any other time, the times that we're approaching now, man. So it says, uh, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And that only, when it says that he, the only one that's going to be saved out of the times that we're coming into, is the elect, the 144,000 and the one third that's destined to be saved through Yahweh Shai. Okay? Which Yahweh Shai, name in the Hebrew, meaning he is the deliverer, or he delivered. Because Yahweh, Shah is the only one that's going to deliver the nation of Israel. And you got individuals that don't believe in Yahweh Shah. And that's amongst individuals that call themselves Israelites and so-called believers. Okay? But Yahweh Shah is the only way. And only the elect is going to be saved out of the times of Jacob's trouble that we're approaching, man. And majority of our people, you Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, and you're not preparing for the times of trouble. You want to be scoffers. You want to scorn. You want to follow after the ways of America. Uphold this B system, the American system, trusting in Esau, Edom, your enemy. Okay. Hey, just like the day. Okay. Uh, brothers uh, posting up videos on the YouTube. You know, brothers are great millstone because we constantly on our watch. Even when it comes to these other camps and the bogus things that they're doing, the madness that they're doing. But now the latest trend is it is individual amongst ISUPK and very known one of the leaders, Captain Tazariak, how he's still rubbing elbows with Sarnetta. And Sarnetta is a, a, a basically a heathen, even though he is an Israelite, but he don't acknowledge himself being Israel. He but he acknowledges himself being African, Kemet, okay? Uh, uh, acknowledge himself, you know, to be Egyptians or Hamite, which they are a total different nation, okay? The, the original Africans are our enemies. And the so-called Negroes here in America, and that's scattered amongst all nations, we're not Africans. We're from the tribe of Judah, okay? We're Israelites of the tribe of Judah. But here you got Captain Tazariat that's claiming he's an Israelite, but still dealing, doing dealings with Sarnetta, who's a non-believer. Sarnetta constantly come up against the Hebrew Israelites. And, and talk down on the Hebrew Israelites, but you got individuals amongst Israel that still want to be buddy buddy with them, just for a a, a, poli a stunt, okay? 
just to be seen, man. But the thing about it, Captain Azari had been on this, you know, doing a video with him. Okay, him and another individual. And basically, he'd been going into the jab. And how Captain Desaria saying that how he received the jab, and there's no problem with that. Because there at ISUPK, a leader commanding General Yohanna pushes to his congregation to take the, the jab. Okay? So that show you how much faith they have in the Most High, Yahweh Bashimah was shot. And they constantly go off in different, uh, di in different ways when it comes to the doctrine. Okay? But the main point I want to bring out is that you got this individual, Captain Desariat, that's supposed to be a top leader amongst Israel, okay, basically admitting that he took the jab, man, and pushing it. And he's saying that he has no problem with that. They're saying that people that, that are against the jab is, you know, it's a conspiracy, okay? But you saw all about trying to destroy us, man. And the history and the side effects of these vaccines, and especially the ones they're pushing now, Okay, you don't see many reports of people just, you know, giving up the spirit when it comes to receiving a jab. And all of this a forerunner of the MOTB. And a lot of these camps, they push against that too, man. That the RFID is the MOTB. So soon to come, man, you're seeing Yahweh Bashim Shah separating the real men of the Lord, the true prophets, from the fake, okay, the false prophets, man. But that's okay, man. To be coming in the time of, of Jacob's trouble, and a lot of these false leaders, false prophets amongst Israel is going to mislead our people or misguide our people to their own destruction, man. Because they totally uh, uh, with this government. And, and many reasons why these people, our people are going to accept this jab, such as uh, leaders amongst our people, amongst Israel, these false prophets. The reason why they're going to accept it so they can be comfortable here, man. Worldly, they want to be worldly Israelites, man. Okay, but the true men of the Lord, the hopeful elect, hey, man, we hasten in the day of the Lord. We looking to get the hell up out of here, man, because there ain't nothing but destruction and death is coming. And that's your how about Shemal Shah that's going to bring that, man. Okay? He, he using Esau as that sword on the left-hand side to do his judgment, to do the bidding, okay, of, 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 of his will. Okay, but Yahweh Bashim al Shah has set up these false prophets to get rid of the undesirables amongst Israel, which known in the scriptures as the two thirds. So let me go ahead and get back into the scriptures. And that's it on Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Okay, and it says, The he that shall be saved, he, 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 but he that shall be saved out of it is only, only to the elect. And let's get more clear and clear who the Lord is dealing with, man, when it comes to amongst. These Israelite camps, man. Okay, and not to um, boast or brag. Okay, but it starts with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and brothers on down that's like minded in the same spirit. Okay, that the Lord is showing that it's possibly who the elect is, man. And we're saying that we're the elect, man, through faith, man, because we're doing what the elect will do. And the elect will be serving Yahweh by Shemel Shot in all truth and sincerity, man. Okay. Like I say, man, it's not a great millstone, just a title, man. It's all about the elect of the uh, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And long as you're doing what's right according to the spirit, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai dealing with you. But you can see these other camps, man, they, they, they totally waxing worse and worse. Now, let me get this. Now, this is the book of Daniel. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, get into more and more into the scriptures, you know, that the, that the scriptures uh, speak. Yeah, but this is the time that we in, man. And more and more, man, for, for the couple of months now, you have Bashim al Shah just straight exposing these false prophets and letting the true believers know amongst these false prophets that, hey, we see where their mind frame is at when it comes to the times that we in. Now, this is on Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And it says, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which Michael is one of the archangels of the Lord. That's going to return with Yahweh Shai, when the Lord return with the host of angels, the so-called UFOs, which they are the chariots. Okay, and that's how the Lord Yahweh Shai is coming back to bring war against these nations. And that's how the elect is going to be delivered from the way of those, from those thermonuclear missiles 
that's prophesied to totally destroy this place during the climax of World War III. Okay? So the Lord's going to send his angels in the times that we're coming into to protect his elect, to guide his elect in the right spirit, in the right way. Because all hell is about to break loose, man. On uh, Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, was standing for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even that same time, meaning the times that we're coming into. Just as Jeremiah spoke of in the book of Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, man, that time of trouble, Jacob trouble, okay, a day like no other. So that's what it's going into too. And it says, and there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. And the only ones that's going to be delivered once again is the elect at this time, the 144,000 and the one third through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim was Shai. Okay, the first fruits. Because we know according to the Bible, a hey, two thirds of our people, they're going to they're gonna perish. They're going to die over here in America. And you got Israelites or former Israelites, or ones that claim they believe, but they don't know that they err, like the scripture, the scripture says, they err not knowing the scriptures. Okay, because you got individuals now saying that the two thirds is going to make it. But and, and when they when they bring out Zechariah chapter thirteen verse eight, that don't mean that 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 was past time. And the scripture said things that were written before time were written for our learning. Okay, and the two thirds are back here today. Everything is reincarnated, man. Those same individuals that they always come back doing wickedness, they back here today to receive their final judgment. And in the kingdom, the two-thirds are going to be in the kingdom, but they're going to come back being the children of the elect, okay? And so we're in the time that the Lord is going to bring judgment upon the two-thirds, man. If the elect is going to be saved, that remnant, that means that the other Israelites, that's not of the, the elect, which is the two-thirds, they're going to die, man. Point blank and period, period. You can't, why the Lord is going to save Israel? When well, the Lord said that they rejected him, okay? The two-thirds rejected him by the way of not taking heed to the prophets and going about following after their own ways, following after the, the ways of Esau, Edom, following after the ways of America, or these false doctrines, these false gods, these idols. And the Lord said, all the, all of the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Okay, roughly paraphrasing, man. So only the lake is going to be delivered, man. Now let me uh, get this. And that's the job of the prophets, to give warning. We're not here to, to tell you that everything is going to be all right. Okay, just throw on some fringes, bring, get some fringes on your on your shirt. Let's go out and party. Let's make rap videos. Okay, let's talk about Israelite being an Israelite family. Okay, that's what a lot of these other Israelite camps promote and push. But simply a, a true prophet job is to prophesy and give warning from the mouth of Yahweh Bashim was shot. Not to tell everybody that peace is coming, that, that, that everything's going to be all right. Because you got camps out here outside of Great Millstone teaching that there's no such thing as Jacob's trouble. Okay? That we're not approaching uh, harsh times, distressful times, and want to keep the people comfortable, man. But those are the ones of our people that, you know, that, that follow these false prophets and being mislead, and they're going to be led to their destruction if they don't repent. And get on the right track, man. And get in, you know, getting in the right spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because the doors of mercy is closing, man. And the grace period is almost over. And we've seen that through the prophecies and the signs that the Lord has shown us. The give warning to you Israelites that the time of trouble is at hand. Okay? Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. This is Jeremiah chapter 28. Verse 8, and it read, The prophets that had been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So that's what a true prophet is going to be doing, man, especially against wicked kingdoms. And America, no doubt, is the top wicked 
kingdom that's here on the earth today, man. And it pro mostly the, the whole, the whole, out of the whole, the, the all time, man, all time, man. This is the most wickedest kingdom that the Lord ever set up, man. So you're going to tell me the Lord here, the Lord got his pro uh, um, prophets here and he got his people here in the land of this land of the captivity here in America in the most defiled and abominable kingdom ever, Babylon the Great. But the Lord ain't going to have his prophets here to prophesy and get warning, just like the ancient prophets did back against uh, other empires that were wickedness, that, that dealt with wickedness and dealt contrary to the ways of Yahweh Bashimah was shot. The Lord always set up his prophets before he bring the destruction. He always set up his prophets to give that warning. And those that repent, repent of Israel, and it was delivered. And eventually what happened? That empire, that, that empire fell. And the one of our people that constantly trust in those heathenistic empires back then, they fell right along with the enemy. Just as, just as the day. And there's going to be no difference today, man. You Israelites that want to hold her hold firmly to America and trust in this NWO that they about to push and they all for it, and you're going to fall right along with it when you have Bashmiyasha bring the plagues on this place. So a true prophet job is to prophesy and give a warning. And to prophesy against what? Once again, Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. And the prophets that had been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war. We're coming into the time of war. Civil unrest, civil war, clash wars, race wars, and ultimately World War III. Once again, that's going to be the destruction of this place by thermonuclear missiles, by the, mainly by the hands of Russia. Okay? And, and, and when you have a shot return also with those chariots to bring war. Okay? And they're going to totally smoke this place, America. And two-thirds of our people are going to be smoked with it. Okay? And it's and it continue on. And it says both, and it said, oh, and it says, um, Salaki, and it says, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil, which the word evil means bad times. And we clearly seeing what we head into with this whole agenda that Esau is pushing, man. And it's all biblical prophecy that we're coming into the time of evil. Okay? This place got no way to go but down. Ain't nothing but destruction just coming to this place, man. Because of this wickedness. Okay, the Lord says their iniquity has reached up into the, to the heavens, man. You think the Lord is just going to let America uh, get away with a clean slate? Just forget about all what happened here in America, that that what they had done against us, what they still promoting against Yahweh Bashim Shah, the blasphemy that they're doing against Yahweh Bashim Shah and his words. No, Esau is not going to escape. And soon his judgment is going to come by the way of the Lord bringing destruction to this place. But the Lord is going to start with you Israelites first, man. You wicked Israelites. Okay, he saw judgment is set, man. And he got a long thousand years ahead, ahead waiting for him when the kingdom is established. And we're going to rule over them. Okay? And the ones of these Edomites that die over here, they're going to come back in the kingdom being the offspring of the elites, which is going to be the first servants under Yahweh Shai and the elect of the nation of Israel once the kingdom is established for a thousand years. But at this time, man, hey, the, the Lord is going to start judging the house of Israel first, the wicked amongst our people. That's the time we'll be coming into, man. They're going to have the same fate as these heathens over here, man, when the Lord brings judgment upon them since they want to join hand in hand with them and uphold this system, okay? And hey, you got Edomites, fighting against their own system more than you Negroes and Latino Native Americans. And we the captives. We are the bottom. We've been the ones that have been shitting on all these years, but our people want to still uphold this place, man. So they're going to fall right along with the heathens. Okay, right along with the enemies. But with that, what time we coming into? Evil time. And it says, and they, um, and both against many countries and old, so like, let me start it over. And it says, and, um, Against many countries, against great kingdoms, a war and a evil and a pestilence. So pestilence, man, all these different diseases. Okay, you see the, the C, the CV, and all type of new tra 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 strains coming out, strains. 
and more pessimists, man. It's been all type of plagues and pestilence and diseases that have been wrecking havoc on America and all throughout the world. But it's going to get more intensified, man. As Yahweh Bashimah Shah closely, more and more bring his judgment to this place. So that's it on that. So we're supposed to be giving warning, man. That's the true job of a prophet. I'm going to get, uh, get this. This is um, <clears throat> Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. And it says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And that's what we're doing. We watch it. Watch it for what? The true men of the Lord is watching for what? The prophecies that's leading up to the destruction of this place. And also when Yahweh Shah returning, watching, measuring the times, as the scripture says. And it says, um, and it says, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Another way of saying a watchman is a prophet. Okay? And it says, And I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And when I say to the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou, should, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. And that's going into these false prophets, man. They're claiming that they're men of the Lord, but not giving warning to the Israelites, man. Okay? Not telling them to repent and serve you. How about Shemal was shot? Okay? Because, you know, you got some of them that tell them that they're Israelites. They tell them that, you know, the law, statutes, commandments which we're supposed to keep the law, statute, commandments to the best of our ability, but we're not justified by the law. But that's most of these other Israelite camps, they all, they all, they, they, that's all they, you know, build up off, okay? They don't give warning to, to Israel about the coming destruction. A lot of these Israelite camps don't go into destruction. They don't go into the warning about the times of Jacob's trouble and all hell breaking loose. And a lot of our people that see these other Israelite camps, they come in, and they get a, get involved with these other camps, but don't even know what the whole purpose is of coming back, serving Yahweh Bashim al and coming back to be repentance. The whole purpose is to be repentance and, and serve Yahweh Bashim al so you can be delivered from the coming destruction, man. A lot of these camps, man, outside of Great Millstone, they're not pushing that, man. They telling, like I said, they're telling the people to take the jab, to take the MOTB. Don't worry about Jacob's trouble. The name of the Lord doesn't matter. Take up arms, okay? Let's try to build a, a build a Israelite community here in America. Let's do our own thing, okay? All that's not giving warning, man, and all that's going to lead to the destruction of individuals that's following these false prophets, man. And that blood is going to be re required at the false prophets' hand when you have Bashim Hashem bring judgment upon their congregation, okay? That's going that way, man. The Lord is going to hold. The leaders accountable and those that are following them, man. But there's no excuse of not knowing about the true men of the Lord. Because for years, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone have been telling you about these other camps, such as IUIC, ISUPK, okay, Sakari, and many other uh, Israelites that's going off, man. And that's not of the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. And you can tell by their works, you can tell by their doctrine, the things that they're spewing. And the scripture says, study to show thyself approved. Okay? Examine yourself for those that's in the faith. And if you're in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and you're studying and not taking everything as face value or just word of mouth, and you actually in the scriptures yourself in the spirit of the Lord guiding you, he'll guide you, he'll guide you through the spirit that who have the truth and who's playing around, man, and who's twisting the scriptures, taking in taking away from the word and adding to the word. Okay? So Yahweh Bashim al Shah got everything set, man. But, uh, but you individuals that's out there following after these false Israelite groups, man, hey, the, that, that blood is going to be upon those false leaders that are misleading them and upon themselves, man, when the Lord bring destruction to them. But back into Ezekiel chapter um, 3, verse um, verse. 18 and it says and when i say unto the wicked thou shalt surely die and thou givest him not warning nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life 
the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. So these false prophets amongst Israel, if you got a lot of blood on your hand, okay, for, for misleading Israel, okay, to their destruction. Because we clearly we clearly seeing that's going to happen, man, to a lot of you individuals amongst Israel that follow these false prophets, man. And the Lord's going to hold them accountable, man, if they don't repent. But it's, the times that we're in, man, it's getting more clear and clear. A lot of these false leaders, these high up, uppity leaders amongst Israel, due to their pride, man, you can see they're not going to re repent. And they hadn't, they hadn't down the road of destruction and those that following them, man. So this is the time now. <clears throat> and it says, verse 19, yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wicked ways, uh, so like it, yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Kind of, that's going into the true men of the Lord. Because we constantly warning the wicked of you Israelites, telling you to repent. Okay? But they, what they do, they scoff and scorn. Okay? And when, we, when our apostles, the elders and the brothers on down get on these other camps, instead of they taking heed to, to, to the true men of the Lord, hey, they ride along with these false leaders, man. Upholding their ways. Going after they, they teaching. Okay? But that's the Lord through his true men, his true prophets, Hey, telling you to repent and we warning you from your wicked ways. Okay? Israelites that following them. Okay, you Negroes, Latino, Native Americans in general that's into the world, into these uh, false doctrines, following after these false gods and these, these idols. Okay? And we're telling you all hell is about to break loose. Come out of the way of Christianity, Islam, Roman Catholics, whatever these religions that they uphold, and that's not a Yahweh Bashim I was shy. Okay? And we're telling you, hey, repent and come back and serve the Lord, the true power. But those that don't want to take heed, and that's upon them. Okay? But once again, the ones that's out there doing the, the, the will of the Lord in truth and sincerity, giving the true warning through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim I was shy. And this is what it says Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 19. Yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So the elect eventually going to be delivered. The elect is going to have the true understanding of Yahweh Bashim Shah and do the will of the Lord. Okay? And the Lord is going to deliver his elect for, for being faithful and truthful and, and, and speaking the word of the Lord in, in truth. Okay? And for, but those that don't want to take don't want to take heed, they're going to die. And, and that's scriptural. Okay? How much more in these times now? So that's it on that. Now I'm going to go to the book of Habakkuk. Because the times that we're coming into, man, it surely is coming, approaching. A lot of our people, they put the day of the Lord off. Here the Lord got the signs of uh, uh, showing all throughout the earth, man. We're seeing the downfall, the, the, down, the downfall of America. We're seeing uprising of the people. All the things that Yahweh Shah told us to look for in Matthew chapter 24. The Matthew chapter um, 24th chapter, okay, um, told us to look for the signs of the second coming. All these things are happening, man. A time of war, a time of famine, a time of pestilence, okay? And here, on top of that, the Lord have his men out there telling you what times that we're in. We're seeing the UFO sightings, which are the chariots, another sign of the Lord coming, okay? We constantly tell you that Esau Edom about to prepare to come down with that great wrath. But our people put the day of the Lord off, man. And don't think that the Lord exists. Or think the words of the Lord isn't true. And this is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse um, verse 3. And it says, For the vision is yet for appointed time. And it says, But at the end it shall speak and not lie. And the vision represents the prophecies, man. And we are at that appointed time where it is speaking and not lying. Okay? And it says, and it says, um, though it tarry, wait for it, for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So the words of Yahweh Bashim Shah, which meaning the prophecies, they're not tarrying, man. The vision is not tarrying. Okay, that our people put off. Okay? It's it, everything is wrapping up. 
and moving rapidly, moving quick, fast, in a hurry, man. You're seeing the days of constantly uh, 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 coming to pass, moving quickly. Okay, this is one of the prophecies that Yahweh Shah spoke of, too, that he was going to shorten the days for the elect's sake. And you're seeing the time is moving quick, man. And the, the more and more time moving quick, the quicker we come into the point of the destruction of this place and, and Yahweh Shah returning, man. So soon, because soon to come, man, we're not going to be out there on the highways and byways. We're not going to be uploading videos on, on the YouTube, as you can see that now. Okay? Meaning that the famine of the word is going to take place. And then when a lot of people are going to be searching, then they're going to be requiring. Because once the famine of the word take place, man, basically the next step is all hell breaking loose, man. And we on the verge of that, man. So that's it on that. So a lot of people, they don't know the day of the Lord that's about to approach, man. They don't know the times of trouble that we're entering into. And they wave us off. They shung us off. They don't come out there and listen. They down, they, they thumb down our videos. They scoff and scorn. But that's okay, man. That's okay. Because Yahweh Shah said, if the world hated you, know if it hated me before it hated you. Because that's all actuality they're coming against. They're coming against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. The prophets that the Lord set out, hey, they're just the messengers. Okay? And the words that they speak, okay, that we're speaking, man, it's from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And those that come against us, they're actually coming against the Lord. And that's a, 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 a battle or a fight they're not going to be able to win. They're going to lose that battle uh, miserably. Now, this is um, Amos chapter 5, verse 18. And it says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. The word woe means destruction. And a lot of our people, they desire the day of the Lord, especially these phonies, okay, amongst Christianity. Or individual that say they believe in the Lord, but when you come bring out the truth, okay, to them and tell them what the day of the Lord actually is, that is destruction, death, judgment. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, not my God. My God will never do that. Okay, we're not talking about your God. We're talking about the God of the Bible, man. Okay, the true living power. Yahweh Bashim, I was shot. Okay, the God they thinking about is Cedric Borgia, white Jesus. Okay, or uh, uh, Allah. Or Mother Mary. Okay? These false gods and idols that they uphold, man. And a lot of people tell us that they think, they be, they think they're ready for the day of the Lord. They think they save already. They think they, they, they think they're in a good case, as the scripture says. Yeah, but they're going to be destroyed. Because they're not in the, the true spirit or knowing the, 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 the true power of Yahweh Bashim was shot and knowing his will, man. Okay? Their mind frame is totally in this world. Not of Yahweh Bashim was shot, which is going to lead to their demise, which is going to lead to their destruction. And it says, uh, Amos chapter 5, verse 18, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? And for many, for many of our people, they, the end is going to be their destruction, man. Okay? That's what's going to be their end. Death. And it says, The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. So the day of the Lord is darkness, not light, man. Okay? A lot of destruction. A lot of distress. Matter of fact, I'm going to get um, Zephaniah to back it up. This is what the day of the Lord is going to be. Right, for for majority of these people, for the heathens, especially you two-thirds, man. For the heathens, they're going to be judged off rip. Okay? They're automatically going to get put to death, man. Okay? And two-thirds are going to go right along with them. Even though two thirds of the nation of Israel, the Lord's people, for the Lord, like as it says, the Lord got a controversy with them, and that's it's, it's against the Lord is against them, Kahadi against Yahweh Bashim was shot, and not taking heed. So this is all about the election. And this is Zephaniah chapter one, verse fourteen, and it says, "The great day of the Lord is near; it is near and hasten greatly, and moving quickly." As you can see, man, times are moving quickly. Days are moving quickly. Approaching the great day of the Lord. And it says, a day of waste. I mean, it says, um, um, let me read that again. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hastening greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. Hey, the voice of the day of the Lord. The Lord have his prophets out here speaking, man. Constantly, man. Starting with our apostles and elders on down. Going on 30 plus years, man, our apostles been out there. From Apostle Tahar all the way down, man, this word been out. Ever since 20, 
uh, 07, 2007. Okay, this word has been being pushed, man, constantly. Okay, here in 2021, man, still going. But it's about to come to the point that nothing but destruction is about to take place, man. And the Lord ain't going to do no more talking no more through his prophets. He's going to do talking through his, 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 his judgments. And it says, continue on. And it says, uh, the mighty man shall cry their ability. They all these tough men, the military, all these individuals that take their arms and these proud people, man, they're going to cry ability when you have a shall bring that destruction, man. These women, okay, these ungrateful children. And on an all level, man, this place is through, man. And these people are proud as hell, man. Especially the times that we in, man. Showing that these people, they don't look forward to Yahweh Shah return. We in the midst of all hell breaking loose and these people in the mind from of being comfortable and being proud. And the Lord is about to take all that away from them, man. And it says, continue on. And it says, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble. They go trouble again. And it says, a day of trouble and distress. A day of wastedness. A lot of these people are going to be out here wasted, man. Going to be destroyed. And the Lord said, let the multitude that was born perish, man. The multitude that was born in vain, let them perish. Uh, you know, roughly paraphrasing. I can get that. Okay. And it says, um, let me get that real quick since I mentioned it. I believe that's second address. Second address, because I'm got that too in mind. This is second address. Chapter, let me see. Chapter 9, verse. Let me see, verse. It's the second address. Yeah, kind of. Second edge of chapter 9, verse 22. And it says, Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. Okay? And let my grape be kept, and my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. That kind of, that, that grape that's going to be kept, or that cluster is talking about the elect. Okay? But two thirds of our people, man, they was born in vain. Vain means nothing. Okay? And they was born just to be destroyed, man. And that's Yahweh Bashmiel Shah. That's the, the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. The true living power. Okay? These people don't know the, the terror of the Lord, man. And when we go out there and tell them, and they boast and, and you know, and might make mockery against Yahweh Bashmiel Shah. So the Lord's going to destroy them, man. Okay? That's going back into what? Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 15. And it said, what a day of, of wastedness. Okay? And that scripture right there could go along with it, man. The multitude that was that's gonna perish that was born in vain. They're gonna be wasted. And it says, a day of wastedness. I'm um, back into Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 15. And it says, A day of wastedness, desolation, a day of darkness and gloomness, gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Okay, and ultimately, man, these people are gonna be wasted. Two thirds of our people are gonna be wasted when no thermonuclear missiles destroy this place, man. Okay, and waste the whole land of America. The whole land is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles and the chariots. That Yahweh Shah is going to bring fire as well, man, and leave this leave this place totally ablaze, golf and fly fire. Okay, John seen the destruction of America. He called it a lake of fire. How vast the, that that fire is going to be, man. That destruction is going to be of America. So that's the deal of the Lord that's coming, man. A lot of our people not looking forward to that. Our people don't think that this place is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. They don't think America will never go down, man. They exalt and uphold this place, but not knowing that we're that close to this place being nuke. And Yahweh Shai returning to bring fire. So that's it on that. Um, Let me get this. Like I say, man, the time of trouble is coming for you Israelites, man. The ones of our people that don't want to take heed, hey, let them be, man. The Lord, hold, the Lord only concern is about the election. The elect, the elect, the elect. And that's all written throughout the scriptures, man. But we must give them 
you know, give our people warning so they won't be no excuse, man. So the Lord can be justified to destroy them for them not taking heed. Now, this is First Peter chapter 4, verse 17. And it says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, Yahweh. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end be? And what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shot? Okay, so judgment is going to begin at the house of the Most High first, man. Amongst you Israelites, man. Like I said, these heathens, they're going to get it. They're going to get it off real. Uh, but the two-thirds are going to feel it, man. For the ones that's amongst the circumcision that claim they're Israelites and doing wickedness to the ones that's not uh, 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 subscribing themselves being Israelites. But in, but, but looking, they self, looking at themselves to be blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, or following after the agenda of this world, man. The wickedness of this world. Okay? And the Lord's going to bring that pain upon you wicked Israelites, man. And it says, verse 18, and if the uh, first Peter chapter four, verse 18, and it says, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So the righteous, meaning the elect, is going to scarcely be saved. When the times of Jacob trouble approaching, the Lord's going to deliver his elect from that. OK, from that trial and tribulation. OK, the Lord's going to have mercy upon him. And the elect is going to see all type of stuff, man. And I pray you how about you shout part of that number, man. Let gonna see major death, man. Okay. You have to you gonna have to go through all that the ultimate to see how it shot to be delivered. Okay, by those chariots. Cause at that time those chariots are gonna be uh 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 coming and those thermonuclear missiles are gonna be launched. And while the elect is being beamed up, them, them, them nukes gonna be hitting this place, man. So the elect is gonna be scarcely be saved. Okay, those of the elect that remain. Because you're going to have the elect also that are going to be martyrs. That's going to die being witness uh, of the faith of Yahweh Shai. Okay? But it, but the ones that die in Yahweh Shai, they're going to be risen up first, man. Okay? And they're going to be in a proper, proper, uh, proper order. Okay, if I'm saying that right. Okay? You know, they're going to be in their ranks when Yahweh Shai uh, uh, come back and save the rest of the elect. But at that time, the ones that they let remain, when the nukes gonna be taken taken off and coming toward this place, the lake is gonna be beating up and the nukes gonna be coming down, man. So that's what we're going into when the right if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Meaning the two thirds, where they gonna appear at? Destruction. That's what's gonna come upon them, man. Okay, most of our people gonna get caught up mainly that main judgment, those nuclear missiles. The ones of our people that take that MOTB, that RFID, they're going to be destroyed according to Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And you're going to have a lot of people that's going to get put to, put to death before those nukes during the time of famine, martial law, pestilence, the race wars, the class wars, so-called natural disasters that the Lord is going to be bringing, man. All type of plagues that the Lord is going to bring that two-thirds of our people are going to get caught up into. But that ultimate plague is going to be those thermonuclear missiles. But that's it on that. So that judgment is about to start, man. It being the Lord being jacking us up, man, as a nation. But it's gonna be more intensified at the times that we're coming into, man. And us, that's of the of the faith, we praying that we be part of our hopeful elect to be delivered, man. Cause we don't want to get caught up. We don't want this the fate of the two thirds, man. Cause the Lord promised that He's gonna He's gonna uh, act on His on His promise. And the word of the Lord is that he's going to bring judgment upon the wicked of Israel, the two-thirds, man. And he's only going to deliver the elect. Um, that's it on that. Let me see. Um, yeah, since I mentioned that, I'm just going through the spirit, man. I don't want to make the video too long, but yeah, I'm just going through the spirit. You know, hope to pray that it lets me edify, man. But this is the times that we're coming, coming into. This is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a people before a place, okay? That's going into the Israelites, okay? The capital of Israel is Jerusalem. 
And it says that we're the Israelites, okay? I got to put that out. Not those phonies out there. But let me continue on. And it says, and it said, and it set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of the world. And that word mark there in the Hebrew, tawab, meaning, tawab meaning be exempt from judgment. And only the elect is going to be exempt, exempt for judgment. Okay, the 144,000. And you can read about that mark or that seal in Revelation chapter 7. How the Lord sealed uh, 144,000, which considered the consider 12,000 men out of each tribe or the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, the 144,000, which are men, okay, men. And women are going to be part of the elect, but they're going to be part of the one-third of the elect. You got the, 100, the 144,000, which is considered the elect men, okay, the prophets, which and all which are going to be the rulers with Yahweh Shai. Then you got the great multitude that make up the rest of the elect, which is considered the one-third, and that's considered men, women, and children, okay? Because women are going to be part of the elect, but they're going to be part of the one-third. Because they're going to have to be, we're going to have to have women as well, too, to bring back the two-thirds of the nation of Israel in the kingdom. Because our kingdom is going to be here on the earth, and yes, it is going to be sex in the kingdom, man. That's why the Lord create, that's part of the Lord creation, man. For men and women. Okay? That's for you know Christian that think that, you know, that'd be another subject, another time. But a lot of people don't think when the Lord set up the kingdom, we're just gonna be just spirits. Okay, no, we're gonna have those angelic bodies and we're gonna have and we're gonna deal with women. That's what the Lord create women for. To procreate. Okay, to be fruitful and multiply. So it's gonna be sex in the kingdom. A lot of it too. But let me continue on. And it says, um, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And it says, And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that mark going back to exempt for judgment, the election. Verse 5. And to the others, the others going into what? The two thirds, the wicked of Israel. And to the others, he said, In my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly. Old and young, both maids, little children, and women. Okay, so the Lord don't discriminate, man. Okay, two thirds of the men, women, and children is going to be put to death, man. Here in this time, man. Okay, like I said, you got individuals trying to say that you know this this scripture right here, Ezekiel nine and four, that was in the past. Okay, but everything is you know recarnated, man. Okay, and how much more this time, man? You're going to tell two-thirds of our people don't deserve to be put to death for coming against the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and doing all type of wickedness. This scriptures play out more and more here in this time, man. So the Lord is going to bring judgment upon two-thirds of the nation of Israel, man. Men, women, and children. And only going to exempt the elect. And it says, and it says, and, um, but come near any but come not near but come not near any man upon whom is the mark meaning the election and begin at my sanctuary then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house hey that sound like first peter uh uh first peter chapter 4 verse 17 begin that judgment must begin at the house of israel okay so let's go into this time now man that only the elect is going to be delivered and judgment is going to come upon two-thirds. And we can't stress that enough, man, because it's written. And that's the time that we're coming into. No matter what, they don't they don't want to take heed. They don't want to listen. Hey, most likely, man, they part of the two-thirds. Because we're coming in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shah, not our own mind. Okay? Matter of fact, let me get this. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 3. And it says, for what if some did not believe, shall the unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Yahweh forbid. Let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thy sins, and mightest, up, mightest overcome when thou art judged. Okay? So Yahweh Bashimah Shah words are faithful and true, and every man a liar. Okay? Because we're not coming out of our own, 
own heart. We come what's strictly out of the scriptures, man. Okay, we're going into the Hebrew, the Greek, the Latin, okay, even to the English, man. And our apostles, the elders, always going into the words, okay, okay, breaking the, the scriptures down and interpreting them the right way, man. And the scripture says there's no private interpretation of the scriptures, that this is the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. We are speaking the will of the Lord. Okay, so the Lord's word is going to be faithful and true. And part of the word of the Lord is that destruction is going to come upon two-thirds of Israel. That judgment is coming here upon America. That Esau Edom is going to be taken out of power. And that Yahweh Shah is going to reign, no matter what these people think. And, it, and that the elect is going to listen and take heed. Okay, and going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shah, man. And that's what we're looking for, man. Okay, and we're going to be justifying our sayings. Because we're speaking Yahweh Bashim al word that's justified, man. We're justified, man. Not of our own sins. So that's it on that. I want to bring that out real quick. That's it on Ezekiel on um, chapter 9, verse 4. Now, basically, you know, about to uh, end it off. Now, go to the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon and the Apophica. Let me get that. Show you who the Lord cared for, man. All throughout the scriptures, man. Now, this in the Apophica. Okay, which was taken out, I believe, by the what the the Bible destruction group, a bunch of Edomites. I forgot what particular what year, but basically this the Apophica is part of the Old Testament, man. Okay, this is where you get the history of the continuum on uh, uh, Edris. Okay, which they say Ezra. In the Old Testament, in the original King James Version, okay, the first two books of Ezra, okay, but second Ezra and first Ezra and second Ezra are the other two books that Ezra wrote or Ezra wrote, okay, show you that the Apophica go right along with the Holy Bible, with the whole Bible, okay, this is where you get the Greek history, the wisdom of Solomon, okay, and Solomon mentioned in the book, the book of Ecclesiasticus. And in the, in the book of um, uh, uh, Proverbs, the Songs of Solomon, okay, Solomon is the king, uh, the son of King David, okay, so, this, so the Apophica is relevant, and that's why a lot of, you know, these people don't recognize the, prof, the, the, the Apophica, because they don't understand it, and this is one of the mysteries that Yahweh Bashim al gave unto his prophets, the servants, man, because before I came into the truth, I didn't even know about the Apophica, okay, so this is another great work of Yahweh about Shemuel Shai giving us the truth. This is on um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter um, 3, verse 9. And it says, They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he had cared for his elect. Okay, so Yahweh about Shemuel Shai cared for his elect. That's the ones of the saints that's going to receive his mercy, especially the times that we're coming into now, man. Okay. And once again, I pray I'm part of that hopeful elect, that number. Okay. Amongst the saints, the saints of the elect. Because Israel as a whole, we are the saints, but all Israel is not of Israel. There's an election amongst the election. Okay. Because we're the Lord's chosen people, but there's an elect out of that, man. And once again, that's the 144,000 and the one third. And at this time, as the scripture says, he only cared for his elect. And that's going to be proven when Yahweh Shah come back and redeem the elect. And set up the kingdom by, by the way of the elect being joint heirs. And like I mentioned, two-thirds, they're going to have to come back in the kingdom. Okay, the Lord ain't going to just do away with the two-thirds, man. Because they're Israelites. And they're part of the promise as well. Because that's another doctrine. Okay, that our people, you know, we got phony Israelites out there saying that the two-thirds are going to be done away with. And only the elect is going to be in the kingdom. No, man, the two thirds that perish on this side from the, you know, there were those that don't die and went into the spiritual realm and those that's going to die in the future, that they're going to come back being the offspring of the elect, okay? That's the Lord's mercy upon the two thirds. But we're looking to be part of the election to make it on the first go round. But let me continue on. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse uh, 10. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imagination, which the two-thirds, which have neglect the righteousness and forsaken 
the Lord. For whoso despise wisdom and nature, he is miserable. He is miserable, miserable, and their and their hope is in vain, and their labors unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. And ultimately, that's going to be proven when Yahweh Bashmiah shall bring destruction on this place, man. Uh, people that went against Yahweh Bashmiah not listening to his prophets, his men, not taking heed. All the things they put their effort into upholding, the, upholding you know, this world and trying to find success in this world, laboring for this world. When Yahweh Bashmiah shall bring that destruction, man, hey, man, that's going to be in vain. All they're going to do is lead to their destruction, to their downfall, man. This is the only hope. This is the only way through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmiah Shah. This world is temporary. And this place is on its way out, as you can see. But the point is, Lord care for his elect. And the two-thirds, as it says, those that neglect the truth, neglect the ways or the, the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bashmiah Shah, the Lord's going to bring judgment upon them, man. So that's it on that. Matter of fact, I'm going to get a couple more scriptures in all. Now, this is the book of, um, go to the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. And it says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Okay, so that's what time be coming into it. You can clearly see, man, our people re re are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Okay, they all into different ways of this world. And look what the outcome is of this whole thug life. Want to be a diva, bad bitch. Okay, gangster life, trap life. Okay, a rap style of life. You know, which nothing ain't wrong with music, but look how they push the agenda of music, man. They got majority of our people following the ways of these rappers, these entertainers. That's that they, what they're doing is contrary to the ways of Yahweh Bashimia was shot. So they destroyed for the lack of knowledge, for not knowing about their own inheritance, not knowing about the law, statute, commandments, which is for our good. Okay, because the law, statute, commandments is good. It just us being corrupt, man. That's how the Lord made it. But for us being corrupt, we the reason why we're in captivity, not because we couldn't keep the laws. Okay, not I mean not because the laws was uh, bad. The laws is in, the laws is to its perfection, but we're not in perfection. And our people rather go after the ways of this world and the ways of the heathens. So ain't nothing left for you. How about Shah is to destroy them? As, it, as I'm going to read it again. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because they have reject knowledge. And that's the way they reject knowledge is rejecting you. How about Shah through the ministry, through the men that he set up, that, that's teaching them to be repentant. And it says, and I will, and it says, uh, and I will also reject thee that, uh, let me start it over. And it says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou hast reject knowledge. I will also reject thee and thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. And I will also forget thy children. So that's the time we're coming into. Since they don't want to acknowledge you, how about you shine his ways, the law, statute, commandments. They want to be contrary to it. Okay. Hey, Yahweh Bashmiah Shah is going to bring that destruction upon them, man. Okay? Hey, and a quick testimony before I end, end out, man. Hey, you know, I'm at the, you know, the job, and I got a couple of young jakes that work with me. You know, and, you know, where I'm at, you know, it's a little, like a little plasma. I work at a, you know, retail store. And then, um, and then you got, a, you know, a couple of fellas, you know, Israelites, you know, I know, you know, they're not a great millstone, but they go out there and teach. You know, I basically grew up with one of the fellas. You know, we talk time to time, but he got, you know, he, he taught, he, he teach Israel, but he still got to work on some things when it comes to the doctrine. But he's out there teaching. And, you know, he teach people that come by and everything. You know, and basically, you know, the individuals or jakes that work with me, you know, they stop and talk to him. And instead of they taking heed to him, you know, they scoffing and scorning. They coming back in the, in, the, in work scoffing and scorning, downplaying them, calling them Muslims. You know, me, I, you know, I just being quiet, okay? You know, you know, because they don't even know that I'm in the truth, man. I just keep everything simple, okay? Being in Clark Clint mode, man, okay? But they don't know that, you know, that I know those individuals and what they're about. And even though they might not be on the the, uh, uh, the same doctrine on the level as the Great Millstone, but they out there teaching, 
okay? But still, you had these niggas that I work with scoffing and scorning them, calling them Muslim. You had one damn um, Ephraimite, Puerto Rican woman that worked with us. She up in age, talking about some I don't listen to them. Only thing you got to do is tell them that I eat pork and they'll leave you alone, which we ain't not supposed to eat pork, okay? So they, they're totally against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay, even if it's not a great millstone, you got these other campuses out here. Okay, you know, we give credit when the credit due. They out there teaching, but, you know, some of them going off in the doctrine, but you still got individuals that scoff and scorn a fact against the scriptures, against the against the Bible. Okay? And you got this simple Negro that worked with me. He going to tell him, he said, yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I don't believe. I don't believe in that stuff y'all talking about. You know, I don't, I don't want to listen to those Muslims. To show you how simple he is, okay, because he called him a Muslim, and he called himself a Christian, but those brothers was out there reading out the Bible, man. Okay, they're, you know, acknowledging themselves as Israelites, reading out the scriptures, but he's going to call them a Muslim and say that he's himself a Christian, show you that he's the scroll for the lack of knowledge, show you that he don't read. You're going to call yourself a Christian, believe in so-called Christ, but you don't even read the things that Christ stated in the Holy Bible, man. And call them brothers Muslims. So our people just destroy for the lack of knowledge on all levels, man. And we see more and more why two-thirds is going to bring destruction on them. Now, those brothers is out there, you know, they teaching. They go out there faithfully. You know, things they got to work on in their doctrine. And due time, if it be the Lord will, the Lord is going to, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, strengthen that out, man. Okay? Now, you know, I know them, but I don't go and bother them, man. Okay, you know, they teach what they teach, and we know, we know what we're teaching, man. Okay, but Yahweh Bashem Al Shah will, hey, he, they be saved, as long as they keep doing the work, and they, you know, and they be in the right spirit. Because these no sincere brothers, but they just sincerely lost, man. And Lord gonna bring the let together anyway, man. And I just pray Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, me and my Akim, that we part of that, man. Okay, even a uh, Israelite that's outside a great millstone that follow IUIC and ISBK, and Lord's gonna graph in those true believers that's of the lake from amongst these wicked counts, man, and, and, and stir them in the right way, man, because that's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, especially the times that we're coming into more and more all hell breaking loose, and this word is being more perfected, and the power of the Lord is, is coming, man, okay, <clears throat> so basically that's it on that, that's a little testimony I want to give, you know, you know, but Jake's, man, two-thirds of our people, they're they gone, man, that's why when I'm, you know, around them, I don't say nothing, man. You talk here and there about worldly things, but spiritual, man, ain't nothing to say to them. The scripture says, cast not thy pearls among swine, and give not that which is holy unto dogs, man. Wise, be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove, know who to speak to, especially the times that we're in now, man. It's best to be quiet, man, okay? Just be quiet, you know, the only way to talk to Jake, you know, the Lord have you talk to him through the spirit. But most of the time, man, we talk to Jake only when we on the highways and byways or they come across videos, man. Because the time is short, man, to, to do more, trying to do explaining to Jake's that we in the time now that all hell is about to break loose. But eventually, Lord got the elect sealed, man. The Lord is going to have his elect unto himself. For the two-thirds, once again, they're going to be punished. But I'm going to go ahead and end the scriptures out, man, in the uh, lesson. Not the scriptures, but the lesson. I'm going to go to... Um, Finish off with Proverbs chapter uh, 1, verse 29. And it says, uh, verse, I started at verse 28. And these for all these jakes that come across the Israelite camps, especially the great millstone, those that's in the right spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah, or Israel in general, okay, that these scoffers is going to come up against and take heed and to the ways of this world, man, and not taking heed to the true spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Because there's no excuse for not hearing the word of the Lord. Uh, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Hey, that when all hell breaks loose, then they're going to look for the Lord. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They were none of my counsel, and they despised all my reproof. And that's two-thirds of our people are these wicked. Israelites, scoffers, the scorners that come against the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, come against the ministry. So they actually come against the, the word of the Lord. And Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, they man. <coughs> so they're going to be destroyed, man. 
Verse 31. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way, and they shall be filled with their own devices. So the Lord going to give them over to the destruction, man. The Lord going to give them over to that jab. He's going to give them over to that MOTB. He's going to give them over to the martial law, the famine, the starvation, you know, the uh, 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 the pestilence, the plagues, the concentration camps. All that is coming, man. All that is the will and the judgment of the Lord. And ultimately, those thermonuclear missiles, man. The Lord going to give them Jake the all, all over to that, man, the two-thirds, man. In the sense, verse 30, 32, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them. Since they want to be simple, they're going to get slayed, man, get put to death. And the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Yeah, trusting in this place, man. Trusting the prosperity of this place, going after the ways of this place, man. Okay, but they're fools, man, <coughs> for not taking heed to Yahweh Shemal Shah. I think that this place they rest, man. And it says, the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Verse 33. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of the evil. And that's going to the elect that's going to take heed. They're the ones that's going to be delivered, man. So more and more, man, we got to strive to be part of that number, man. Do what's right in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So this is a truly a, a blessing the Lord to open up our eyes, man. And then we're able to see the, 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 the glories and the grace of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now, we just got to strive to the end, to do it to the end, to be part of that hopeful elect, man. Okay, so brothers, keep fighting and keep pushing, man. We almost out of here. We clearly seeing destruction is about to come. Okay, I wanted to, didn't want this video to be too long, but it was the spirit. And I hope that it's less been edifying to ones out there listening, man, the true believers, man, the true sincere brothers that seek it. Yahweh Bashim Shah daily, okay? The Akim and the Atwa, meaning, you know, Akim. You mean Akio mean the brothers and the Atwaf mean the sisters of that hopeful elect. Yahweh Bashim uh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So to the next time, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bakar Kwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry pushing the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the believers that scatter world that scattered worldwide and that is exalted. The name and that's in the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Until the next time, Shalom.